everybody. It's Michelle here with Angel Souls, and this is our daily angelic message. If you would like to work with me, just go to angelsouls444.com for a standard reading or email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com to schedule a live session. Make sure you're watching the other dailies. Make sure you go back and watch the weekly. I have tons of videos on spiritual topics on the very front page of my YouTube channel. Go check them out. All right. What do we have? The resurrection. This was in the weekly, I believe. Whew. This is such, guys, something is ending. This is almost like 1010 portal energy happening now. But something is drastically getting cut out. Um, it could be heartbreaking. It doesn't have to be something like obvious. I mean, maybe it'll be obvious, but it doesn't have to be obvious. It could be something where I was using this example in the weekly where it's like, you know, someone has just always treated you a certain way and you've just always kind of accepted it. But I mean, accepted it as in taking it, you know, you just took it. Um, and then all of a sudden you realize, wow, that was cruel. Wow, that was designed to hurt me. This person I love so much wanted to hurt me by pointing out my inadequacies as they see it or pointing out how great someone else is to make you feel small just being in general unsupportive and and knowing suddenly I can't trust these people or I can't trust that person or you know what this isn't where I want to be in this company in this town you know whatever the case may be so that resurrection part of it is that it's the light after the devastating moment, the heartbreaking realization. And maybe, gosh, I'm sorry, for some of you, this is like realizing that your partner doesn't love you. And I, I have a hard time with saying doesn't love you anymore. Because that's not how I get the messages. Like, I don't know how to say this without like really um, starting something. But if you're with the right person, it's it's this feeling of, oh God, I hope, I hope I'm not wrong on interpreting this. There's a feeling coming through that if you are with the right person, there is no falling in or out of love. It's like you kind of flow into the love and now you're flowing together and you will grow together because um, it clicks it clicks there that's a bond right a loving bond and if it's peaceful and pure again it doesn't mean that you're not going to have disagreements it doesn't mean that you know you wouldn't want some space every once in a while but it's not this oh I fell out of love with that person then you were never in love you were probably in limerence or lust and you can drag that stuff on a long time you can build I've seen, shoot, I've seen people come in, they've been together for 20 years, and I read their energy. It's limerence. It was never real love. And then they're like, we just grew apart, and they didn't, okay? Like, <laughs> again, when you're in that, like, soul level kind of partnership, you grow together. Again, I know people are going to be like, that is the craziest thing I've ever heard, because you don't want to believe it. You don't want to think of it like that. Or maybe you're just too hung up on the 3D, which again, is not too, it's not bad. It doesn't mean that you're a terrible person, but it's just something to consider. You know, have I allowed a deeper connection with someone? You know, getting bored with having the same person around <laughs> means go off and get a hobby, okay? It's not, I fell out of love with this person. That's something different. We've been trained to accept a lesser form of, of a love connection than we deserve and that is by design to keep us low in frequency welcome to the other side this might be one of the big realizations that you have cool so we're gonna leave it there i'm sending you all so much love and take care